Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Party. So, we were... I don't really remember what we were doing. We'll figure it out as we go along. <clears throat> Excuse me. They wanted me to go this way for some reason, because they are pointed this way. Maybe I'm looking for a sister still? Right, because there's this sealed hallway, right? Or, it used to be a hallway, now it's just a wall! Okay, so, maybe I'm going to the red door, right? Because I was supposed to try to... ...do something with the body parts or something. I returned that kid's tongue, now what? Okay, well, it's still locked, so... There's that. Oh! Oh, right! Okay, so there was a thing... Uh, that required two people to get, and now I have two people. I do remember that. Okay. Hey. How about you? How about you, like... The lights changed position again. Naomi, would you mind waiting here for a sec? Sure, no problem. Okay. Gonna grab that. Grab it! Naomi, now grab it! Okay, okay got it. Okay, so maybe I can go watch the tape now. Nicely done in there. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Oh yeah, right, she did. That's how the puzzle- that was like the first puzzle that we had to do, right? Actually, I had to do something similar before, with Siko. Did you... Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. I guess. I wish there was a way to, like, quickly save it before that. Because I might get brutally murdered, probably, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Door is locked. The neurotic noise, TV static coming from within. Use custodian key? Okay! Oh crap. Who turned out the lights? What the? What's going on? Oh great. Did I just kill us? Why is it so cold? Uh, something really smells. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? I'll try. Found it! Thank you. Whoo, thanks. Man, it does stink in here. And it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Huh, that's odd. What is it? Oh, nothing. 
It's like deja vu. I could swear I've seen this room before. I mean, it, it looks similar to the infirmary, I guess? I don't know. Oh, maybe she was, like, taken here and strung up by her neck, right? Maybe that's a thing that happened? There's a video 8 camcorder lying on top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out. However, as the LCD display isn't turned on... What is something this recent doing in a place like this old? Like this old. This old! Maybe it belonged to someone who was brought here, like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV, and it's out of batteries. So it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. Oh, did that paper just appear? Okay, I'm pretty sure I missed one, so should be all right. Oh, okay, cool. I guess that I guess that's all done. There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True Stories, The Occult of the Occult. It's a follow-up to previous report. To a previous report. Read it. Oh my god, this is going to be long, isn't it? Why do you always find the long one, Satoshi? Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Strange But True Stories of the Occult. Chasing Down the Hidden Past of the Cursed School Building. Follow-up by Kaguyake Kikiyuki Bibi. Tenjin Shongakko Kocho, Yanagi Hori Takamine ni chowai sare teita, sono musuko Yoshikazu. Let's talk a bit more about Yozuga Yoyoya, beloved son of Heavenly Host, Elementary Principal, Taki... Uh, I'm not... I'm not trying to pronounce these names anymore because I will just horribly butcher them. And I apologize to anyone out there who can read their names properly. I was dropped on my head as a child. I was I was born and raised in the South, so. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could, and performed his duties with perilous. Panache? Panache. I've heard it a lot. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He slowly... What? He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of this illness was unknown. Its effect, bleh, its effects were everything but, anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. <clears throat> he began carrying an antique doll with him at all times. A memento from a long forgotten festival, perhaps given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period end, and he'd begun wailing mournfully. That's weird. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and the murder incident, murder incident, uh, reached a point where he could no longer communicate with thoughts. His thoughts. It'll get better eventually. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. 
柳堀義和の口から。<咳> Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yagyara was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and discretion. Desecration of the dead. Desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. Then how was he found guilty? I mean. I. 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 Maybe she's like super psychic or something. In search of the truth behind the less scientific affliction this incident spurred. Yeah, afflictions, plural. That's why it didn't make sense. I, of course, choose to follow the trail of his, of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may re remember Sir Chico、uh, best as the girl with the strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young forced to watch an. Other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. And certainly, if I were to find Miss Sachiko, so Shin, Shinazaki, Shin, yeah, Shinazaki, where do we know Shinazaki? I feel like we know that name, and not just from this little girl.、Uh, and secure an interview. There would be some real moral concerns about digging up such a painful memory. But then again, she's been a full grown and hopefully well adjusted adult for over ten years at this point. By now, she would be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity. Yeah. Uh, and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to think of whether or not he was with.、Uh... <laughs> That's where we know the name Shinazaki. Okay, so. She was the little girl in the red dress? And now she's. here? And also, she's. 17 now? Because she was 7 when that stuff happened? Right? So there's no way she's responsible, right? I'm impressed, Shinazaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Uh. Okay, but look. The ghost is gone. I guess we really managed to appease it. Oh, right, because last time it kind of like cut off with them、uh, freaking out, right? Because they gave the、uh, kid the tongue and he said thank you, and then I think it just cut to、uh, Satoshi. Are, are you all right? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose at least. Oh, my. 
俺の制服で。あ、こわっだ、ヘルナーのマシュート。そういうの、言わないでって言ったでしょ。Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? ガキかよ、お前。What are you to do?、Uh, that's really gross. やべえな。Not good. She's not normally like this, Shinazaki. Shinozaki. Yeah, so also, dude was saying that she's an adult woman by now, but that was 10 years ago. She was seven. So she's 17, which technically. Well, I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what the laws are like in、uh, Japan, but like. She's still a minor for another year. Unless, like, her birthday just happened. That was published a year ago.、Hmm. What's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did someone move it? It's been here for a while. Been here for a while. The eerie silence of there not being any music is like slowly freaking me out. Okay. Okay, so that's the total. Yeah, so this was the last I saved it. Right? Or not? Okay, was I just trying not to save over. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was doing. What the shit? Okay, well, I was just complaining about there not being any noise, and then all of a sudden there's a creepy ass roaring. Yay! It's just this room, I guess. The pair of scissors. Okay, well, the scissors are still there. Alright, is this still crazy? How to remove tongue, part two, draft. Cut the tongue with a pair of. with a big. with a pair of big scissors. It's so thick and warm, but how will you know whose tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Simple. Label it with a name tag. Yay! The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick the safety pin deep to keep the label from slipping away. Yay! So happy I read that. So happy I came back to read that. I can't go this way. Oh, right. Okay, I can't bear myself to see Su Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. I know just what you mean. God damn it. Why is. Why did she have to die like that? Her first name was different though. She wasn't Ayumi, right? Maybe she had a sibling? A twin? Yeah, all, all creepy stories have twins, right? Maybe it was a twin. Hey, look, the long hallway's here again. Okay, so where was I going to go meet? I mean, I don't even think they really gave me a direction here. Okay, Blue Boy's gone. <laughs> Shut up, Giggler! Hello, Red 
spirit. Did you move? I feel like you used to be down this way. Also, that other body's gone. I feel like you used to be here, and that other body was here somewhere. But now they are both gone. Maybe I should go talk to you. Maybe you'll murder me. I'll just run around in a circle. It, is so it hurts. It hurts so much. Even in death, it still hurts. Now and always. Sucks to be you, bro. Alright. So... Still locked for us. Okay. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, well there's nothing this way, so I assume I should go every way it'll let me go. Right? Oh, and that other body's gone too, the one that was up there in the corner. Hello, decapitated person. Time to go this way, I guess. That was weird. How kind of like he had to hop over it. Any yellow stuff in here yet? No. Nope. Okay, is that creepy girl in here again? I ran over here and then she like appeared in the middle of the room. Whatever, man. Hey, get out the door! Thank you. Oh, yeah, alright. Because now the room kills my audio for some reason. I assume that's like a bug. It changes when I go back into, uh... What are these areas? Oh yeah, right. It was something was keeping me from going up this way, right? Still there? Yep, still there. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go back to the main classroom. Oh no. Uh Yeah, cuz like what the hell? Oh, wait. Okay, I need to find a small key for this, right? Right. Okay. Okay, now my audio is like seriously dead. The hell. Go out the door! Okay then. I'll just hop back over this. Okay, so I guess maybe we're going back into the other wing. Which sucks, because we don't have the magic shoes of running on faces. At least I think that's where we're going, unless he tells me otherwise right now. Yeah, let's not go that way. Okay, well, shit. If I don't go that way, and I don't go any of the other ways, then there must be something still in here, right? Okay, is there something still in here? Will something please murder me? So that I could be like, oh, well, at least that happened. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the thing I've already read, but I'll go ahead and read it. The light and dark side of Heavenly Host Elementary Principal, blah blah blah. The ground was broken for Tejinis Municipal Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town. As no elementary school had stood within Tejinis borders at all prior to 
its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for class. So for them, in particular, Heavenly Host truly was a godsend. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named... <laughs> Yarara quickly became popular amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic personality, his work ethic, and his firm but fair school pol policies. Polushish. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair records and even general building expansion. Essentially, due to Yerlil's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tejin. Tenjin. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. Blank. Did I even need a line for that? You could just said, this part's blank. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Could you just said that? Okay, well, I hadn't read that previously. Oh, am I gonna try to like this maybe? Nope. Do I look at the desk? Word diary written in bold letters at the top. Like some sort of prop, however, it's practically molded into the desk and can't be moved or opened. Okay. Why is this room still creepy? Didn't I just save that... kid? Okay, well... I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Thanks so much for watching, leave a like, comment on what you think of the game so far, and I will see you soon!